Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you. Indian PM Modi celebrates Diwali with soldiers at border near Pakistan. Pakistan's opposition PTI links poll body with regime change conspiracy. And Nepal police honor dogs to mark Kukur Tihar festival. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday celebrated Diwali, the Hindu festival of lights, with Indian Army soldiers in Kargil town near the border with Pakistan. The Prime Minister said that it was a privilege for him to keep up with his practice of spending the occasion with soldiers. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi commemorated the Diwali festivities with the Indian Army in Kargil town near the border with Pakistan as he fed sweets to the army personnel, keeping up with his practice of spending the occasion with soldiers. He addressed the soldiers as his family and said it was a privilege for him to celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights with them. Kargil holds importance in India's history as nearly 500 Indian soldiers died on its snow-capped peaks in the campaign to oust hundreds of infiltrators from Pakistan in the summer of 1999. Today, Kargil is a Meanwhile, Indian border guards gave sweets to their Pakistani and Bangladeshi counterparts on the occasion of Diwali. Senior officials of Border Security Force exchanged sweets with Pakistani Rangers and Border Guards Bangladesh at the Atari Vaga and Fulbadi borders respectively. The forces have been following the tradition of meeting at the borders and exchanging sweets at key festivals for many years, including on Eid, Diwali, Republic Day and Independence Day to promote goodwill and peaceful relations. Indian capital New Delhi's pollution levels dropped to very poor category on the morning of Diwali festival as farmers in neighbouring breadbasket states continued to burn crop waste. Diwali usually marks a rise in the air as bursting firecrackers is also a significant tradition as part of the festival of the lights. High pollution is an annual sore point for Indian capital New Delhi, a city of 20 million people as several people are put to risk due to a high concentration of tiny airborne particles, especially in October and November. On Monday, people stayed indoors and wore pollution masks while stepping out. Most monuments in the city, engulfed in smog, were scarcely visible on the occasion of Hindu festival of lights, Diwali, which usually witnesses bursting of firecrackers. अभी तो थोड़ा पोल्यूशन बढ़ा हुआ है इन दो तीन दिनों में थोड़ा ज्यादा बढ़ गया है तो इसलिए मास्क लगाना जरूरी है बड़ा खांसी होसी और गले में थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम हो जा रही है इन नेबरिंग उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेट सेवरल सिटीज वेर शाउडेड अमिड स्मॉग विथ पोल्यूशन लेवल्स गोइंग टू पुअर कैटेगरी पीपल कंप्लेंट ऑफ ब्रीदिंग इश्यूज ड्यूरिंग देयर मॉर्निंग वॉक अथॉरिटीज एवरी ईयर अर्ज पीपल टू स्टे इनडोर्स as burning of crop waste ahead of a new sowing season in northern farm states of Punjab and Haryana and lower temperatures trap pollutants in the air for longer. The smoke from fields combined with urban pollution from industrial emissions and vehicle exhaust brings a sharp spike in pollution. The opposition PTI party has termed the Election Commission of Pakistan a player in the regime change conspiracy against its erstwhile government, adding that it has been working as a servant of the ruling alliance. 
اپوزیشن پاکستان تحریک انصاف سینٹرل وائس پریزیڈنٹ اعجاز چودھری آن سنڈے ٹرم دی الیکشن کمیشن آف پاکستان اے پلیئر ان دی ریجیم چینج کانسپریسی اگینسٹ اٹس ارسٹ وائل گورنمنٹ ایڈنگ دیٹ اٹ ہیز بین ورکنگ ایز اے سرونٹ آف دا رولنگ پی ایم ایل این پارٹی دی ریئیکشن کیم ایز دی پول باڈی ڈسکوالیفائڈ پی ٹی آئی چیف اینڈ فارمر پی ایم عمران خان لاسٹ فرائیڈے فرام ہولڈنگ پبلک آفس آفٹر اٹس ٹریبیونل فاؤنڈ ہیم گلٹی ان توشا خانہ کیس for unlawfully selling state gifts given by foreign dignitaries and heads of state. Addressing a press conference, Ijaz Chaudhary listed a series of the Commission's decisions and actions which he claimed were in favour of the ruling alliance. The Baqaida fundraising is the same thing. I don't know this thing from today. I know from 12 years ago that the accounts of the accounts are audited and gazetted. اور یہ دعویٰ بھی میں آج کر رہا ہوں کہ نہ پی ایم ایل این کے نہ پیپلز پارٹی کے نہ ان کے اکاؤنٹس آڈیٹڈ ہیں ہنڈریڈس آف سپورٹرس آف عمران خان دس پاسٹ فرائیڈے ٹک ٹو دی اسٹریٹس ان ڈفرینٹ سٹیز ان پروٹیسٹ اگینسٹ دی الیکشن ٹریبیونلس ورڈ ایکٹ بلاکنگ روڈس اینڈ ہائی ویز اینڈ سیٹنگ ٹائرس آن فائر لیٹر ان دی ڈے خان کالڈ آن سپورٹرس ٹو اسٹاپ دی پروٹیسٹ سینگ ہی ووڈ چیلنج دا رولنگ ان کورٹ اینڈ اٹ ووڈ لائکلی بی اوور ٹرنڈ as he denied any wrongdoing and termed the decision biased, adding he had legally purchased the items. Since being removed from office, Khan has held protest gatherings across the country, calling for snap elections. But the government has said they will be held as scheduled in October or November next year. Sri Lanka's opposition leader Sajid Premdasa has credited the mass protest that led to the ouster of former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa for the passing of the 22nd Constitutional Amendment. The legislation passed last Friday aims to curtail presidential powers. Sri Lanka's opposition leader Sajid Premadasa has credited the mass public uprising that ousted former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa in July for the pushing through of the 22nd constitutional amendment aimed at trimming presidential powers. The Sri Lankan parliament passed the legislation with the required two-third majority this past Friday, aiming to beef up corruption safeguards and helping to find a way out of the country's worst financial crisis since independence. Prima Dasa stressed that his Samagi Janabala Vegaya party will support this 22nd amendment not because it offered a solution to the current crisis but because it was an improvement from the 20th amendment. He blamed the misuse of executive powers and the egotism for the downfall of the country by the previous government. Minister for Justice Vijay Dasa Rajapaksa said as a result of irresponsibly giving up power of parliament to one person 225 members lost credibility. The 22nd Amendment was passed to overcome that, he said. Sri Lanka has struggled for months to find enough dollars to pay for essential imports such as fuel, food, cooking gas and medicine. Many Sri Lankans blame former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa for implementing multiple failed policies, including tax cuts, a now reversed ban on chemical fertilizers and delays in seeking IMF assistance that resulted in the country defaulting on its foreign debt for the first time in its history. As a response to widespread protests, Rajapaksa had backed constitutional reforms that would reduce the powers of the executive presidency and allocate them to parliament in June. He resigned the next month after protesters stormed his office and residence. Nepal's annual inflation surged to 8.64% for the months that ended in mid-September compared with 3.49% a year earlier. The recent data by the central bank has revealed, presenting a challenge for the ruling alliance ahead of the November 20 general election. The Himalayan nation has about 20% of its people living on less than 2 US dollars a day. Nepal's annual inflation surged to 8.64% for the month that ended in mid-September compared with 3.49% a year earlier, central bank data showed, presenting a challenge for the ruling alliance ahead of a general election. The rate has stayed around the highest levels since 2016 and is driven by high prices of food and fuel. Like many other countries, 
Nepal is also seeing a dip in its foreign exchange reserves and higher pump prices due to the Ukraine war. The country's five-party ruling coalition, led by the centrist Nepali Congress Party that has been in government since July last year, will compete against a loose alliance of the main communist opposition and royalist in the November 20 vote for the 275-member parliament. For both sides, addressing the high cost of living would be a priority during the ongoing festival season in the Himalayan country of 30 million people. Yubaraj Khatiwada, a former finance minister, said the government needed to ensure supplies of essential commodities to control prices and consider reducing the tax of fuel imports. Currently, fuel imports attract a tax of up to 35%. Tucked between Asian giants China and India, Nepal has about 20% of its people living on less than $2 a day. More on news from Nepal. A special event was organized at the Police Canine Training Center in Nepal's capital Kathmandu to honor dogs on the occasion of Kukur Tihar Festival on Monday. The canines were awarded with medals and garlanded for their contribution in catching the criminals. Police officials in Nepal's capital of Kathmandu awarded medals to dogs on Monday as part of Kukur Tihar celebrations, the second day of the five-day Tihar festival, during which animals are worshipped across the Himalayan nation. At the Central Dog Training School, dogs were given medals for their contribution to security purposes and helping officials solve cases. The event included competitions and obedience displays, such as navigating obstacles, high jumps and runs. The dogs were also offered special feast and worshipped with vermilion powder and flowers. In the year, uh, like uh, which dogs played like major role, like investigation and uh, and the, like the national issues of uh, those crimes where these dogs played a major role. So under that criteria, we honor the dogs or uh, we chose the dogs as the best dog and the handlers also as the best handler of the year. People across the Hindu majority nation also honor their dogs with baths, garlands, and special treats to mark Kukur Tihar. Devout Hindus consider the dog to be the messenger of Yamaraj, the god of death, and believe that worshipping the animal makes it happy. Residents of a village in central India have become internet sensations with the help of YouTube starring in homegrown video productions inspired by Bollywood that range from slapstick comedy to action dramas. Have a look. With the help of YouTube, the residents of Tulsi village in India's central Chhattisgarh state have become internet sensations. They have been starring in homegrown video productions inspired by Bollywood that range from slapstick comedy to action dramas with educational shots and the occasional rap song thrown in for variety. Tulsi Willits flagship YouTube channel Being Chhattisgarhya now boasts nearly 120,000 subscribers and more than 200 videos and counting. It all started about five years ago when two friends, Gayendra Shukla and Jay Verma, saw videos on the streaming service and then thought they could also do something similar. This coincided with the cheap mobile internet being offered in the country. It is that our village is about 3,000 people. And here, 1,000 people are in our YouTube, in some form. Some people are acting, some people are making videos, some people are making channels. The interest among villagers grew during the nationwide COVID-19 lockdown in 2020, which put many blue-collar workers out of jobs and restricted movements. Now, hundreds of residents are involved from being on screen to post-production work. को जो करना है अपने वो चीज भी कर रहे हैं मन संतुष्टि भी हो रहा है और हम लोग को अर्निंग भी होता है इससे YouTube से तो हम लोग उसमें अपना जो चला सके ऐसा भी कमा लेते हैं. Shukla said YouTube starts paying for the content only after a particular video or channel registers at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watched content. They upload roughly two or three fresh videos every month making roughly 40,000 rupees a month from YouTube. More than what they were making in their previous jobs. 
The biggest challenge for the YouTubers now is to write engaging content that brings in enough subscribers and advertising revenue to pay for the cast and crew, said Varma, who left a teaching job to focus on content writing. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.